Seriously, like I, I got a message from a girl that I never met. She's fictitious, and she sent me the holy grail of messages. Do you know what she said? She said, hey, you should come over. My parents aren't home. <laughs> Hell yeah, what's up, guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Big C. I'm back in action. Today, we're talking about Emily is away. Smiley face emoticon. <laughs> yeah, that's right, guys. We're doing a review of this game. Hell yeah, I got to tell you right now up front that in this game, I poked a girl named Emily 48 times on Facebook, and I got dumped by her for no good reason, and I liked it. <laughs> that's right, guys. It's 2008 again, and Facebook and YouTube are just getting started. Relationship quizzes are all the rage, and yeah, it's time for you to go into the friend zone. Yep, guys, this game is a riot. I had a ton of fun playing it. I would never really normal. I would never normally play a game like this, but I made an exception for this because it was getting amazing reviews on Steam, and everybody was raging about it. I'm like, what the hell? It looks like a text game. Well, it's pretty damn good. The only thing I will tell you about this game before we get right into the details is you're not going to need to update your gaming rig or your graphics drivers for this game. Your computer should be able to handle it. All right, guys, let's get ready. Let's get nostalgic. First off, guys, like I said, this isn't a game I'd normally pick up. I'm a manly man. I drink beer. I own a camping axe. Okay? I do things, right? This isn't how I roll generally. But yeah, this game, again, had great reviews. Had to see it. I want to say one thing. This looks like this game was developed by one guy named Kyle Seely. Kyle, if you're watching my review, take a bow, man. Well done. You really captured it. Um, this game, again, huge reviews. And all I could say before we get into the real fine details is, Jeff Fisher, you can eat a giant dick bagel. That's right, Jeff. You might be a fake persona in an $11 game, but you can eat a giant bag of dick bagels, and you know why. All right, guys, this game starts off with you. You play as an 18-year-old male or so. You're getting ready to go into college. You create a first Facebook account, and you have your buddy Matt walk you through it, and hey, what the hell, right? Uh, here it is. Y it, it's very, very accurate. Like, when I was in 2008, I created my first Facebook account. I remember all the stupid stuff that I did. I remember going in there and adding my dumb picture and posting a post status and doing all that dumb stuff. I'd freaking, I was poking people left, right, and center. I was playing like Farmville and like werewolves, whatever the hell that stupid werewolf game was where you'd send them requests through the werewolves, right? Yeah, my brother Mike remembers what I'm talking about. No? Okay, I'd send you a werewolf request. I'd be like, yeah, I got some werewolves. Select that shit. Yeah, guys, I remember that game. I remember, you all remember the bullshit drama in that game, too, right? Like, seriously, like, you were, like, 2008, and, like, you, your girlfriend would go on there, and you'd, like, message her, and she'd message you back, but you didn't know what she meant. So you'd be like, what did you mean by that comment? And she'd be like, I don't know what I meant by that. I meant this, and I'm like, I don't take it that way, right? And then you would log out of your account, and you'd log into some account you just made up or your best friend's account, and then you'd, like, creep their profile and shit. And you'd be like, oh, man, I better check, right? Because my girlfriend left a message on some guy's wall, and I can't see it because I'm restricted, right? And it was just some vampire request or something like that. Whatever, guys. All of that crazy 2008 nostalgia is captured in this game, and it's captured perfectly seriously you spell with spelling mistakes left right and friggin center i was filling out relationship quizzes and surveys what the hell is that right i was filling those things out right i was doing all that stuff from 2008 seriously like i, I got a message from a girl that i never met she's fictitious and she sent me the holy grail of messages do you know what she said she said hey you should come over my parents aren't home <laughs> That's how accurate this game is. And I was like, I should totally do that, right? And then I remembered I'm like a middle-aged man playing a video game. And I'm like, this is creepy. And then Chris Hansen came in. Okay, no. Didn't go like that, guys. But it was super, super accurate. That's all I'm going to say. This game's super accurate. I got friend-zoned. I got dumped. I got tagged in all sorts of stupid pictures. I got invited to events that I didn't go to. And then I got in hell. And she'd get in trouble. Why didn't you show up at my event? And I'd be like, I don't know. I forgot. I'm a... Stay-at-home alcoholic, right? I got called a dick bagel. I threatened to pick a fight with a guy I never met for no real reason other than he was talking to my girlfriend. Guys, this game is legit. Go buy it. 